Realis was kind of being defiant in a way, not you know not where we like did anything different that hadn't been done before, but just definitely kind of turning our backs on what what had happened before and um, starting to pursue more our own desires and music, and this was where we this new album was where we had already kind of made that choice and we felt even more at peace with what the outcome might be and just let things evolve more naturally and organically. So we did Realis with Chris Common up in Seattle at uh, Red Room, which was awesome. Um, and it's not that we didn't know or think about what we were going to do this time, but we suddenly found ourselves like a month away from recording kind of thinking like, hey, where are we going to go record the record? So Dan uh, made a bunch of phone calls last minute, and it was awesome because we got we got to record up at a London Bridge in Seattle, which is this crazy studio that I did not feel like I was supposed to be in. There's like gold and platinum records on the wall. Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, uh, you know, it was nuts. Um, and we did the drums there. Um, and we engineered, or we produced it ourselves, and we had this awesome guy, Steven, who helped us engineer it, but it was awesome recording in a legit studio like that. And we brought everything back um, and did it ourselves the way we usually do. This exact. This is probably what. This is, this is what the picture is. What's there? But uh, you know what? I don't really the, care. The mighty uh, V sound of V. Actually, this is scientifically proven to work in every country of the world except France. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be releasing a commercial product. I don't know, we, we never really set out um, uh, while making this record and coming up with concepts, we never really set out to have kind of an umbrella theme or anything. Uh, we never did that on purpose, but I think that a lot of the songs um, conceptually kind of ended up fitting under one idea. And a lot of it really is a response to kind of a lot of what we saw on the road, um, going from town to town, different cities. Um, just seeing how easy it is for people to build up walls and to differentiate between other people of different ideologies or lifestyles or even something as stupid as different scenes, that you can't accept them as a fellow member of the human race because of that. And it really bothered me. Um, I mean, I guess, you know, one of the themes for this record I feel like, I guess, is love isn't conditional. and you don't have to deny truth, or you don't have to deny something that you firmly believe in order to actually reach out and accept somebody else as a fellow member of the human race. And I see a lot of that going on from both ends of the spectrum and different ideologies, left and right, anything. And it, it's, it really bothers me. Um, and I think it's all too easy to forget that sometimes. And you know, the further down that road we go, we're just going to end up completely alone and isolated. 
And that's a lot of what the song Tides is about.